Rebecca, welcome. Uh, I'm sure you're excited. We've all been waiting for this. I'm sure you have as well. So I'm going to leave you the floor. Go for it. I'm Rebecca Copnall from Center for Biomedical Research in Portugal, and I'm here to present you Polycure, a novel gene therapy for polyglutamine diseases. So these are a group of highly incapacitating hereditary disorders affecting the brain. There is no cure for these diseases, which culminates in the premature death of the patients. Polycure is a one-shot and curative gene therapy for spinocerebellar ataxia type 3 that is also expendable for the other polyglutamine diseases. So, Polycure was first developed for patients suffering from SCA3 that affects more than 46,000 people worldwide. SCA3 onset occurs during adulthood, causing a debilitating motor function with cognitive and physiological impairments for the patients. Until now, the only current solution for this disease is symptomatic alleviation that does not offer a long-term solution for this fatal disease. And this is where we hacked. We are going to the root of the problem. So SCA3 is caused by a genetic mutation that leads to the accumulation of a toxic protein in the patient's brains. So polycure with, that we developed blocks this toxic expression, leading to neuronal rescue. Once delivered at polycure as a gene therapy, it will be a, a good uh, reversion of the, of the disease. So polycure already proved successful in reducing the disease anomalies in preclinical studies. It also ameliorates both the molecular anomalies of the disease and, and as well as the motor deficits. And importantly, it shows a good safety profile. At this point, we have submitted a provisional patent application for Polycure, and we know that we want to continue its development, aiming to deliver Polycure to the market. So what are our next steps? Next, we aim to create a startup company and build the foundations to turn our therapeutic approach into a, co a valuable commercial product. As our therapy fits in the rare diseases category, we will aim an to accelerate the process by entering the human trials in four years. And that four years of development correspond to a calculated investment of 4.5 million euros that include the manufacturing of our product, the toxicology and dosage finding assays, and the approval from the regulatory agencies. And as we know, there is an urgent and unmet need for advanced therapeutic strategies targeting rare neurogenitive diseases diseases. Polycure meets that need and also as a prospect of being a profitable therapy. We are a team of experts in the field of molecular neuroscience and gene therapy, and we have the values and the know-how to take this project further. With you, we believe that we can take Polycure to the patients and change their lives. Thank you very much, Rebecca. Excellent pitch. Very, very interesting. Don't go away because we have a question for you by jury member Benedict Luhmann. Benedict, if you can ask your question. So Rebecca, thanks for the pitch. Uh, very impressive. Could you elaborate a little bit on mode of action, your virus you are using and the USP and the patent you, you have submitted? So uh, we found a, a molecular target then uh, that we uh, uh, know we can use as um, a plasmid to inject our molecular target into the now into the animals. So we use in our mo uh, mo um, animal models, we use lentiviral particles to inject our um, plasmid with our tar uh, gene target into the animals. And uh, that's the way we are aiming to humans. We uh, are aiming to do an intratecal injection with that viral particles um, and deliver our gene. So regarding uh, the patent, we have uh, submitted a provisional patent application. So we are at the beginning, uh, but we are uh, taking the necessary steps to take this um, provisional patent application into an effective patent.